it's the social media platform I'm most comfortable with because <laughs> there's no limit to how many words you can write. And you know me in brevity, it's like here it's the longest. I know I'm the worst. Ever. I don't. I'm bad. <laughs> I'm gonna start with Rosemary's Baby. It's one of our biggest inspirations for Immaculate. Loved the performances in it. I think it's just a classic horror film that also led to incredible character study, story development, everything. Jordan Peele's Us. Lupita number one is such an incredible actress. The way that she just embodied this character, just the way that she would move or the turn of her head was so haunting and that was terrifying. It, it was incredible. Probably The Shining. As an actor, I would love to be in Jack's shoes. Mm. Like, I think that could be really fun and interesting and I different. I see that. Halloween. You can't have a top horror film without a John Carpenter film mm -hmm. on there. Him and Jamie Lee Curtis like created such an iconic and legendary final girl that then carried on till today. Would you ever want to play a character like Michael Myers? Yes. Yeah? Yes. I think the scariest movie ever made is Funny Games. Michael Haneke, he's not playing by the rules. I felt scared because I knew that the man who directed this film did not have my best intentions at heart. Uh, what have you done to Solange? It's an Italian horror movie. It was a big influence for me visually on this film because in that film, the main character has this relationship with the patriarchy and the way that they frame those scenes puts the men in the frame in positions of power and makes the woman feel really small. And so I ripped off a few of the blocking, the camera blocking from that film on ours. The Vanishing from 1988. To me, there's no film that has a greater sense of dread. So bleak and so awesome. And it has this sort of punk rock spirit to it that we tried to carry into ours. Barbarian. It's a modern film. You're obsessed with this I love movie. this movie. I saw it four times in the theater. <laughs> that film has the classiest jump scares. They don't interfere with the narrative, they're so perfectly executed, even though they're very simple. And so, yeah, we borrowed a lot from Barbarian as well. You know, I live my life through movies and my memories are shaped by the movies that I see. And I love just connecting with other film nerds on there. Like even if I wasn't a director, I would be all over it.